this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. I might put the pop-up on this side instead, but we'll see. And it stands up. And it folds flat for mailing. Okay, so let's get started here. Let's bring in what we're going to use. We're going to need Versamark ink, Memento ink, clear embossing powder and your heat tool to emboss that. I've got a few blends here. I've got a Calypso Coral, I've got a Old Olive, and a Balmy Blue. I might bring in Night of Navy because I don't remember what color I used, but we'll try the Balmy Blue first. You are going to need a stylus for this, whether it's your um, piece that attaches onto your uh, take your pick tool or if you have the stylus that uh, comes in your Simply Scored we're going to be using as well um, whatever stylus you have but you want a smaller tip okay and I have a scrap to stamp the sentiment on I have a two I mean three by four and a half inch piece of vellum. This is the uh, vellum cardstock. I have two pieces of four and a quarter by two and three quarter inches. I have three pieces which are five and a quarter by one inch. I have a piece which is five and a quarter by two and three quarters. It's white and I've run it through an embossing folder. I've run it through wintry 3D embossing folder. Either one of these would work for this card. I just, on the original card, I had a piece sitting on my desk, so that's why I use that. I have a piece of 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 inch piece of white. And that's to go on the back of the card. And then I have a five and one half by eight and one half inch piece of navy for the card base. Snowman Season is the stamp set I'm using. I'm using this stamp here and let it snow. And I'm also using this die from the Tasteful Labels dies to cut out my sentiment. Okay, so let me put this with this so I don't lose it. Set that aside. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and um, prep our card base. I bring in my scoring board. And this is five and one half by eight and one half. We're going to put it in the long side at the top. And we're going to score it at four and one quarter. five and a half so that'll give us our standard card base four and one quarter five and a half so every one and a quarter inches from there so five and a quarter no five and a quarter is one one and a quarter inches so five and a half six and three quarters again it's every one and a quarter inches and then eight inches. Okay, so that's going to give us our card. And this piece here is going to get adhered to make the pop up part like that. Okay, so what you're going to do, lay it down like this. We're going to take our wet glue. You could use tear tape for this, that would be a good. Uh, place for use for that. Just on that little half inch strip there. It's not quite a half an inch. But, and I've got it folded down. To, there's the first score line, there's the second score line. Fold that flat. And then on this four and a quarter inch score line, we're just going to fold it over onto the card. And that's going to give us a perfect 
we lined up for our box. Okay. Now we're going to bring in this piece, which is um, embossed with that embossing folder, the five and a quarter by two and three quarters. We're going to adhere that on this panel here. And this is an embossed layer, so make sure you get plenty of glue, but you don't want it oozing out. So a, a lot of glue, but in a thin layer. And that's going to have an eighth of an inch border all the way around it. Okay. And then these one inch pieces, there's three of them. One is going to go on each panel here. So you can lay it flat if you want like that to pull them down. On there. Glue on it. These are a must have in my craft room. The glue erasers, rubber cement erasers, they go by in the, but you can buy them at uh, Dollar Tree now. I used to spend quite a bit for them at the art store. There's that part. Now, let's place this aside for a minute. Let's go ahead and do our, well, let's, yeah, let's do the rest of the stamping part next. Okay. Okay. I need to bring in a foam mat to stamp on. I'm going to bring in my vellum piece. We're going to have it so that the four and a half inch, so it's uh, horizontal. We're going to bring in our Versamark and our Memento. We're going to use them together. We're going to take our snowman stamp. We're going to ink it up in Versamark first. We're going to go into the memento. Make sure we got a good inking. We're going to stamp that right in the center. Awesome. Now we're going to bring in, let me cover these so I don't get bossing powder in them. Bring in our coffee filter and our clear embossing powder. We're going to sprinkle that on. Since we used the um, Versamark in addition to our black ink, we will get an embossed black image. That way, if there's any strays of the embossing powder, it's not going to matter. If I use black embossing powder, I would have little flecks of black. Now let's bring in the heat tool. And I like to put it on a board. It just helps me um, my work surface from getting warped and it also helps to uh, spread out the heat so that it doesn't work the paper as bad. Make sure it's on the number two setting. I'm gonna there we go. You see how it's getting a clear black shiny finish? See, 
didn't warp it too bad. Now we're going to bring in that scrap paper and the Let It Snow stamp and the Memento Black ink. Now we could do the same technique, but I'm just going to, if you wanted it to be shiny, you could do the same technique or use black embossing powder. And I'm going to go ahead and just use my Memento. needs re-inked again. I'm go ahead and stamp that in the center of this. My fingernails are stained from peeling and canning tomatoes. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut it out with this die. Now if we're going to have the fold on this side, you want your tails to be going this way. If you're going to put it the same way I did the other one, you're going to want your tails going the other way. I think for this one, let's go ahead and build it this way so you can see the difference. Okay, I'm going to go and cut this out, and I will be right back. Okay, I've got that. Okay, now let's bring in this again. We're going to actually turn it over. And we're going to color on the back side of it with our blends. And it's a very simple coloring. I'm going to do the coloring first. I'm going to take the dark balmy blue and then we're going to color this hat. Actually, I think I probably used a darker color because this is kind of light. Because when you turn it over, it's going to be lighter. So let's try the Knight of Navy. I couldn't remember what color I used. I did this weeks ago. Yeah, the Knight of Navy is going to work better. Okay, and then um, I did the small stripes with the green. So let's do the old olive in the scarf and the can't really tell uh, in the final result, but you can if you look closely. Okay, and then the larger stripes are the blue. Also took the green and did this tree. I just scribbled around where the tree would be. Let's bring it up so you can actually see that. See, I didn't do neat, I just scribbled around it. And now we're going to come in with the stylus. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So I'm going to unlock this and pull out my other, my pokey tool. And I'm going to use the smaller of the two tips. So I'm going to line this up with the groove, twist it, lock it in place. Okay, oh, I forgot the nose. So let's color the nose first. Okay. Now we're going to come in with that stylus and we're going to do a circular motion. We're going to outline around the edges. You don't want to push too hard. You want to have a foam mat underneath. Actually, I might want the bigger one. I'm just going to I want it to look round, so I'm starting in the middle. I'm doing like a circular motion. And you'll notice it starts to get white where you're uh, drawing on the vellum. Now let me switch it to the bigger one. I'm pretty sure I used the small one, but let's use the bigger one and see what happens. Maybe it'll go a little faster. 
yeah, that's you're gonna see less of the lines with the bigger one, but okay, and you're kind of pushing that paper slightly, which makes it the white marks on it, and it's gonna dome it so that it has a little bit of a indent going so it looks rounded. Okay, now we're that's why I use the smaller one so I could get into all these little places. Around. Do the same thing around here. Around. You want it to look round. You don't want because your lines are going to show. So go with the curve of the, of the snowman. And the more you go, the wider it's going to be. And again, don't press hard. You don't want to tear your paper. You just want the marks to show on the paper. I'm just doing the, the body part. Okay. Then a little bit more here on his face. Then I took, I'm going to go back to the smaller one for this part. And I just did a, a few more little circles. For additional snowflakes. little circles and down here at the bottom I colored in the snow here and along the bottom like that I just did lines if you're not sure how it's gonna work just practice on a scrap please But it's really not hard. It's really quite simple. All right, that's what we ended up with. Okay, now we're going to bring in these two four and a quarter by two and three quarter inch pieces of Knight of Navy. We're going to set our snowman on there. I must have cut that wrong. That's all right, it's gonna work. I think it's longer. What did I do wrong? I thought I had it right, but let's measure it. Should be three and a half inches. And I, I think I only cut it at three inches, but it's gonna work anyway. It's just gonna have lo larger spaces. Okay, so we're gonna set it on there where we want it to be and we're going to turn it over we're going to fold the vellum over onto the back and we're going to bring in I'm just going to bring in uh, household tape scotch type tape tape that across the back you could use your uh, snail It'll probably work really well for this and I'm going to bring in my bone folder but you want to be careful because this will make the white marks on it as well so I'm just creasing that okay now I'm going to take the second knight of navy piece I'm going to hide all that so I'm going to go ahead and glue this right onto there Not much of it shows, so you probably don't need this. It just made me feel better. <laughs> okay, so there's that piece. Now we're going to take our Let It Snow. It's going to get popped up right here. The dimensional. You want to 
it to hang off just a little bit. Okay, perfect. All right, now let's bring in this piece. And I'm going to bring in, oh, I'm bring in some uh, of the crinkled seam binding. Yeah, crinkled seam binding. And I'm going to wrap it around here and tie a little bow. camera. Don't do these bows very well on camera. Perfect. Seven. Okay. There's that piece. Now you're going to put it where you want it to be. Okay, then we're going to turn it over. Make sure that's straight. We're going to add this 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 inch piece. Glue. And that'll hold it in place. Oops. This is not the one I had cut, I don't think. Maybe it is. Okay, and then we're going to take this, we're going to mount it here. And since we're not sure what spot we're going to want it on, unless you hold it like this, and just, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down that center there. Set it back down. And it's going to hang off of both sides of that. That's why I put the piece on the back so you wouldn't see all the mess on the back side. But I don't think you'd see it anyways. Okay, now we're going to finish it off with some of these metallic pearls. Added a couple up here. And I added a couple down here. There you go. There's the card we just made together. the one I did previously. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper. <clears throat>